Why don't we throw to a very interesting video? Looks mm. like the liberals constant complaints of racism. <laughs> I can't get the <sighs> sentence out. The, the idea of blackface lecturing us on racism <laughs> is just so rich. Um, well, they backfired as uh, Leslie Lewis defended her meeting with uh, German MEP Christine Anderson. So let's check out that video. I'm just curious if she thinks there should be consequences or uh or retromand for members of this house who meet with known Nazis who spread uh, misinformation, disinformation, glorify the Holocaust, who speak against uh, uh, anti-Muslim rhetoric. Uh, I'm just curious if she's talking about online hate and privacy of Canadians and regulation. Does she condemn her actions by meeting with a known Nazi uh, in this country who spout anti-Muslim rhetoric? The Prime Minister has put on blackface so many times. He has degraded black people. He literally put a banana in his pants. And you have the audacity, you have the audacity to stand and look at me as a black woman and ask about my meeting with another member of the European Parliament. That is within my job description. I do not have to, I do not have to approve of everything that another member believes in in order to have the decency to have meetings with with other individuals. Your prime minister, this prime minister, denigrated black men by putting a banana in his pants. Shame on every member over there that does not chastise them. If this were any other country, he would not be leading and he would not have the moral authority to lead. He would not have that moral authority. Oh, I love it. Hey, Aaron O'Toole mm -hmm. up in the back benches, uh, are you uh, taking a uh, <laughs> note? Uh, by the way, at this point, uh, Dre, I want to apologize to uh, Liberal Member of Parliament Seamus O'Regan. I'm afraid you are no longer holding the title of the most stupid MP in the House <laughs> of Commons. That now goes to Jen O'Connell. Uh, there's two things to discuss here. First of all, this idea of O'Connell saying uh, Christine Anderson is a uh, is pro Nazi is glorifying the Holocaust. She is a German member of Parliament. Yes, Germany has the most strict laws mm -hmm. when it comes to. I mean, if you even do the Nazi salute. And I'm not going to do it because, you know, our haters will do a screen capture of that <laughs> and say that that's me doing it. You're going to go to jail. You're going to get charged. It, 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 it's illegal. So she is not on board with that garbage. I don't know where, uh, you know, O'Connell uh, dug that up. And secondly, let's talk about um, Leslie Lewis's spirited defense, uh, Drea, um, <laughs> for somebody on the liberal side to cry racism, uh, yeah. being led by Prime Minister Blackface, that's a little rich, wouldn't you say? And I love that she mentioned the banana in the pants. Like, yes. This man went so far to it, covered in head to toe, puts a banana in. You know, it's a total mockery. And so it, the nerve, I don't even know why that MP would go there, because it's almost like, you know what the response is going to be, especially when you're talking to a black MP. Like, it just looks so ridiculous. And why is the label of Nazi? It's gone from they used to say Christine accuse her of sort of like, a, you know, what's the word? Um, sort of not being a flat out Nazi. And now they're just flat out calling her a Nazi. Like, when did that start to happen? Well, but, uh, go on. Yeah. Oh, well, don't forget, we're talking, I can't remember her name. I, I think she's actually the MP in Ezra's writing, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> um, who likened Honk honk as code for Heil Hitler. So when you saw those trucks right. honking their horns, what they were really seeing, what they were really saying was Heil Hitler. Uh, I think these, you know, liberal MPs are just making stuff out of the blue. I, I, I've well, never heard of such rubbish. They're so excited to just have something to keep going on. And that's why they keep bringing it up over and over. Um, MEP Anderson is on Twitter like, oh, my goodness, they're still talking about me. I saw someone <laughs> comment say Canada doesn't want you uh, yesterday. And she's like, well, apparently you do. You won't stop talking. 
about me. Um, but I want to just mention this True North article that came out a week or so ago, uh, reminding Canadians that Trudeau and Christia Freeland met with Ukrainian neo-Nazi party co-founder. Mm. Um, so if you have this article, I think I shared it, but I'll read some of it. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland met with a co-founder of a far-right fascist party in Ukraine, which is styled off of his Hitler's Nazi party. Aubrey Peruby served as the equivalent of the legislative speaker of Ukrainian parliament from 2016 to 2019. And during that time, he personally met with Trudeau and Freeland several times, not once, several times. Earlier in his career, he was an influential, an influential member of the Ukraine's far-right neo-Nazi movement. So, yeah, there's more in that article there. But the hypocrisy is on so many levels. It's not just blackface. It's also the prime minister, as well as Freeland, meeting multiple times with this person. Oh, and just Google who uh, Christian Freeland's grandfather was right. and what his role was. in the. And this gets all brushed <laughs> under the carpet. And by the way, I can tell you why they were having those meetings to, again, go back to the budget, uh, Drea. Uh, one of the line items, a $2.4 billion mm-hmm. loan uh, to the Ukraine. Um, by the way, when you say loan... Um, do you expect a penny to ever come back to our no. dominion? Uh, no, that that is a grant, not a loan. They're just calling it a loan to make it look good. We're never going to see a return on investment there. Uh, you may as well throw stacks of hundred dollar bills on the fireplace and call that a loan too. So, uh, so that that was the agenda there. But you know, you mentioned as did Les and Lewis. You know, stuffing the banana down his pants. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, I'm really confused what message uh, blackface was trying to send there. But the one thing, and I think we've talked about this before, uh, Drea, what I find perhaps the most offensive about his blackface routine is he's constantly sticking his tongue out. I I guess equating black people as dogs, maybe. I mean, I know a lot of black people. No one's walking around with their tongue sticking out. What is this Justin Trudeau's impression of who black people are? What it reminds me of, and I have shared this on my Twitter, but you probably can't grab it, is those old cartoons that mocked black people. They had the big lips and the big teeth, and they often did that tongue. And I really think that's what he is mimicking there. If you do a side-by-side, it looks just the same. Maybe, but I remember, but even then, uh, back in the days of, you know, uh, minstrels and vaudeville and what have you, I don't remember tongues being stuck out. There are, there are cartoons with the tongues. I don't know why. (laughs) I don't know why, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I I, I just think it's um, an added insult to black people quite frankly, mm-hmm. that it's not only the blackface. And by the way, not just blackface. We ro- ran a little clip. He had that black paint smeared all over his body, his arms, his legs, um, you know, but but the banana down the pants, the the constant sticking the tongue out. Um, I, I, I Sometimes I just can't believe this gentleman is the prime minister of Canada for eight years running. It's like, <laughs> I uh, know, talk about not ready running. for prime time. <laughs> what, um, what does that say about us? My goodness. Yeah. I, what does it say about us? That's a clip from something we call Rebel News Daily. It's our daily live stream hosted by my friend David Menzies, but the show also includes a rotating cast of hosts and special guests, including me. It's a great way for us to talk about the news of the day as the news is happening in an unscripted fashion, and it's an awesome way for you to interact with us as well. We stream every weekday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Mountain, wherever you find Rebel News. See you there.